guys, it is Jackie from Pocket of Preschool, and I am here today on this fabulous Saturday to show you my new Five Senses unit from the Little Learner Science Curriculum. So what I'm going to do is flip it around and show you guys all the pieces, and then we can chat for a quick Q&A afterwards, and I can answer all your questions. All right, here we go. Okay, so for my... For this um, five senses unit, just like my other units in the science curriculum, I am giving you things to make an amazing science table or science center for your classroom. So you're going to get these full page um, sci um, five senses posters. And again, this unit, just like the other ones, has lots and lots of real photos. So you get the full page um, posters and you can also print those smaller. And then it also has um, vocabulary cards. And I, uh, in, um, for the last unit I did, I'm gonna start putting these on little clips, just like I do in my writing center. So if I need to use one for small group or for circle, I can just pull them off. Or if a kid wants to use one, I can just easily pull it off. It's not stuck to the wall. And how I did that was I just stapled a piece of ribbon to the bulletin board and I got these little clothespins. Super simple. And it and then you're not stapling in your wall the whole every single time you put out a new unit. Oh sorry I heard a sound. And then there is a um, read aloud and this one just is, says my five senses and it talks about each sense. And then at the end it talks about how um, you protect your senses. Um, which I think is important, like wearing sunscreen, drinking lots of water, um, all of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, so each sense has an activity you can put out at the science center, or science table. And you can put out one sense at a time, or you can put out two, kind of like I have right now. Or um, you can put each one in a bucket on your science shelf. So let me show you each one of the um, activities. So this one is sense of smell. And my own little man last night um, loved this one. He was going crazy and he was having so much fun smelling all the different things. So each sense has a sorting board and you can do these as a sorting activity all together. So you could use all of these sorting boards as an activity or you can use it with each um, individual sense. Um, and then so each so it comes with a little chart. That way they know what smells to look for. Um, so like there's a cinnamon and a peppermint, orange peel, coffee, flour, you know, soap, garlic, chocolate, and candy. And I got everything from the dollar store except the cinnamon and garlic I had to go to Walmart for. But basically all I did was I put each item in a, these are plastic salt shakers from the um, dollar store and they shake it and then they smell it and then they pull off the matching card and then they can sort it if it's a yummy smell or a yucky smell and then it's just it makes it a little bit more engaging and then sorting it at the end and I like how that there's visuals so they kind of know what to guess for because some of the smells they may not have smelled before like my little man that garlic was gross and he never smelled it before. So he's like, ooh, that's gross. Um, and I didn't not hot glue the lids on these. That way, because like the garlic, I'll probably take that out at the end of the unit. And I do have flour on there. And I just grabbed a flour from my garden. You can also use potpourri. Um, and then there's just real orange peels in there. Um, you can use dried out ones. Um, so yeah, so I used real items in my shakers. And some of them I think I'll be able to keep. Like I could probably keep the candy one um, and things like that. This one's chocolate. So I just used some Hershey Kisses, the cinnamon stick, and the cinnamon. So yeah, so that is the sense of smell. And then for the sense of hearing, it comes with a chart as well. And then here's the sorting chart. And then... These are just little containers I got from the dollar store and then I put tape around the edge. This is like skinny duct tape. And then um, I actually hot glued these lids shut. That way like they wouldn't be spilling rice everywhere. But I left the bottom open so they can kind of check their answer. So they can shake it and then they can, oh, so they would shake it, guess what it is. 
and then they can check it to see if they're right. And then there's a whole bunch of different ones, like there's ribbon and sand and beads. So I, and I try to have them be different sounds. So this one's kind of like a clinging, you know, the rocks is going to sound different than the sands and the buttons. And these, I all everything on this chart I already had in my classroom, so I didn't need to go out and buy anything. All I did was buy one package of containers from the dollar store. So that's that one. <clears throat> and I did put a small um, one of the posters in. I just printed them two to a page. And I went ahead and put that in my sense of hearing bucket as well. And then I have the journals that they can do at the table. And you, um, there's different kinds of journals. So there's this one with two lines. There's some with like a, um, come here, let me show you really quick. There's also this one with like a dotted line and then there's covers too if you want each kiddo to have their own five senses journal or you can do a class one it's up to you and let me show you the sense of sight activity so for sense of sight i just made some sensory bottles and then i put these items inside each sensory bottle so they have to shake it and then like there's the letter and they have to find each item and some are easier to find than others like the coins kind of hard because it hides really well and then it's easier to find the items in the white beans rather than the colorful um the colorful rice because it's it's harder because it, it's kind of camouflaged a little bit and then these are just um some water bottles i had you can also use gatorade bottles i know those are really thick plastic that i like to use for sensory bottles um, yeah, and then I hot glued the lid on and I covered the top with tape. That way it won't, they wouldn't be spilling everywhere. And then I did another one with fish gravel. So you can see there's the big old eyeball. And then here's the sense of sight, um, sorting activity. And then for the sense of touch, and I kind of made each container different. That way, um, like if they would get all of them out or something, they would know which one goes to which. Um, so for the sense of touch, here's the sorting card. And I just got these socks from the dollar store. And what they do is they put their hand inside. And that way, I, I got black socks, so that way they can't peek. But they would put their hand all the way inside and feel the object. Then they can um, guess what it is. And then they can stick it on. And this the Velcro sticks to the sock, so you don't need to put any Velcro on. And then they can also take it out and check what it is. And I tried to put different items that feel different ways and items that they would recognize, like, you know, a stick, pom-poms, a feather, um, things in your classroom you already have to. I didn't have to go out and buy any of these things. So that is the sense of touch. And then let me show you um, the sense of, oh, let me, quick, let me real quick show you what else you could do with these. So let's pretend I put that back away. But you could also, if you wanted to, like let's say you don't have a, um, science like table you could take and make a bucket of each sense and then you could place them just on your science shelf and just have everything kind of in there and we'll just pretend that all of them are in there and then you could put the sense of sight at the bottom so you could also put them on your science shelves um, after the unit's over so they can continue to explore it or um, <coughs> or uh, you could have it out like this during the center time or during your unit. And then let me show you this um, sense of taste um, experiment. So I made this anchor chart and all of these um, visuals come with it and then they just taste a pretzel. These are just like those animal cookies um and a lemon for sour and then that bitter that bitter um baking chocolate for um the bitter and then i do have a recording page that they can do with it um and then i just you can put at the bottom or you can vote on like you could put tally marks down here if you wanted to at the bottom on like voting like who likes it and who doesn't and i just kind of put the face that i would um, that everybody made at the bottom um, just to kind of how everybody felt about those different tastes. And then there's also a popcorn five senses activity and this one uses all the senses. So it has sound and smell and feel and look and taste. 
And then you can, if you want to, you can use like the bagged popcorn or you could um, get the popcorn that you pop in the microwave so they can hear it. So you'll um, use that sense of sound a little bit more and they can pop it and they can listen to it pop in the microwave or you can bring in a popcorn popping machine thing. And then there is a recording page with that. And I also put, if you just want to do a sense of taste, you could also taste different kinds of popcorn. So you could do like a butter, a cheddar, and a caramel. And then also for the sense of sound, um, I love the book. This doesn't come with it, but the book, um, The Listening Walk, I love this book. And then, so I put in a sound listening walk for um, school. And then I also put a blank one in, so maybe if you wanted to go outside or maybe if you're on a field trip, you could do it um, on your field trip. So that's a fun, oh sorry, I'm shaking today. It's a fun sense of sound activity. I'll show you two more. There we go, that's better. So this is um, this is an anchor chart, and you can do this one of two ways. You can do it, so if you're learning about each sense um, individually, you can do kind of one at a time. So you could do the sense of touch, and then when you're learning about the sense of sight, you could do the sense of sight. And it comes with, these are the sorting cards, so you can put those on, and then, they can think of other things and you can have them cut out from magazines um, some things that they see things that they touch and and then there's hearing and smelling and tasting so that's a fun um, activity you could do kind of as you go through the unit or you could do it at the end it's kind of like a culminating activity <coughs> and there is a recording page for the kiddos that go, um, goes along with that and then as, oh, oh, and I made a teacher kind of cheat sheet. Um, so when you're making the anchor chart, just ha has some ideas on there for you. So that way you can help question your kiddos um, if you need that. And then as always, all my, um, all my science packs come with labels. So this one, I put a big label on here and then a little one on the front. And these are those iris containers from Michael's. And you can use a binder, you can use kind of whatever tub you like to use. And then I'm not a binder person, so I put the unit in like page protectors and then I just put it on a metal ring. But the, and it has tons of pictures of it in action. That way um, you can set it up in your classroom how you want. And it has each activity. Um, it has kind of kiddos doing it as well. But there's tons and tons of action shots in there too and if you do want to use a binder just use the front that first page for your cover and then you'll have your binder and then i'm probably going to try and keep like all my containers in here as much as they'll fit and then i also wanted to show you these are the containers i got for the sense of sound those um they shake them and they hear them these are from the dollar store and there were 10 in there for a dollar you could also use like baby jar baby food jars um and then here's the salt shakers they come in a two pack and then here's the washi tape i used just to cover it or you can use um duct tape and then just a kid kid black sock from the dollar store too and then i printed these off smaller um when i was at the store because I did have to buy some of these things because I like I don't drink coffee <laughs> so I didn't have that at my house um, but as I was walking around finding different things for all the jars I just printed this off six to a page and there's directions in here for you guys to do that too um, and that way I didn't forget the sense of taste either at the grocery store or the popcorn um, but yeah and then you can like mark it off as you find it or you can give this to yours um, one of your teacher team, somebody on your teacher team, and they can um, prep it all for you too. So this is geared towards um, preschool or kinder, and I know some first grade teachers are e even um, using it to kind of supplement their science as well. So it can be used kind of with all, from toddlers all the way to first grade, and you kind of tailor it to meet your needs. Um, like the toddler class, you probably want to make sure everything is <laughs> glued shut or like even the salt shakers are taped shut so they can't take anything out and eat it. But they can absolutely explore all their senses, but they obviously won't use the recording pages. Or if you're in first grade, you'd probably use all the recording pages and they might even make the anchor charts like um, you can have each group 
Um, if you do it for a small group, for example, in a first grade classroom, you can have each first grade group do a taste test and they can make their own anchor chart. So everybody's asking how much this unit costs. Um, so it's $5. The buckets, here I'll show those one more time. Flip it around. So these are the sound buckets and they're just from the dollar store. Let me show you. I put it back. <laughs> So these are just the sound jars. And I just um, put yellow tape around the edge and I hot glued them shut because I don't want the rice spilling all over. But I left the um, bottom empty so they can see what's inside. Um, there is a link at the top of this post and then I will drop a link in the comments after this. So, alrighty, so you guys have a fabulous day and I will talk to you soon.